Welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit here at the ITU headquarters in Geneva. And I have another returning guest who was here last year, Andy Chen. Hi, Andy. Good to oh, see hi, you. Oh, hi, Chris. Glad to see you again. You're, of course, a consultant and a venture capitalist. Never stop. Tell me, one thing, you were here last year, you've come back, you're quite keen to talk about the third wave of AI. What's all that about? Okay, so to do that, I better explain what the first wave and second wave is. Um, back in the 50s, when we started programming, people started talking about making the computer do smart things like calculators and that. And, and the idea is some of these uh, scientists, they will find the problem and they will solve it with a computer. And it, it, it created a program to actually solve those problems. So in those days, we call, it, call them handcrafted knowledge, defined by some of the uh, thinkers, right? So that's first wave. So they'll create something, they'll make it work. The second wave, but after that, there were about almost 15, 20 years of what we call the AI winter. Actually, nobody was thinking about AI. They were talking about solving problems. So late 90 and 2000, this neural network coming out. So people start talking about deep learning, machine learning, and they will start making the computer very smart in one area. We call them the narrow AI. They'll be either, they can drive a car, they can play chess, but they cannot do both. Or they cannot do something even simple for other tasks, right? So uh, the third wave comes along, it really has to do with adaptive, uh, be able to start thinking, reasoning with people. You're a venture capitalist. Is there a link between, I mean, you're, you know, you're trying to make money, but can you be also help the UM with its SDGs? Yes, so the important thing of venture capitalists is to help investment on a good project that will benefit everybody, including ourselves. And it's not, the most important thing is what does it do for the humanity? So this is the perfect place to be, to pick those projects that are actually gonna help the world to shape a different ways. While you've been here this time round, are there projects that have kind of got your attention? Yeah, so we look at these uh, 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 AI engines in Korea, and it came very close, or oh, the start of this, the third wave, we call them AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. It will start to be able to, to actually reasoning with you. And it will start thinking about, once you get a critical mass, it could actually start making its own theory. We call it meta -theric. So that's what is going to be separate the next wave. Uh, you said the second wave was like a 40 years and nothing happened. Will the third wave be more productive? Would it be a short period? Will we think of a fourth wave in five years' time? Yeah, I think it's going to take longer than five years. But uh, examples I gave you, the engine right now for that AI machine is about seven years old intelligence. But within a year, it's going to go up to perhaps in the professional level. So the advancement is going to be fast, but what it can do practically is going to take some time. Okay. Andy Chen, consultant, venture capitalist, back again. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much.